were you looking at? Pervert. So imagine you are on the subway and things are boring as usual and you're sort of just glancing around and all of a sudden you notice the guy sitting across from you has a huge bulge in his crotch. A video is going viral right now on the internet of a guy who put in a fake flaccid crotch that's larger than life so he could get reactions from women on subway and see if they are indeed as perverted as men. And surprise, surprise, they are. Personally, I don't think this bulge in this guy's pants is even that crazy. It's not that big. And big deal that some girls are glancing over at it and a couple are taking pictures. If I was on the subway, I'd be full out staring at it. I'd probably have drool coming out of my mouth. I would definitely be taking pictures. In fact, I'd probably go up to it and take selfies. So I don't know what the big deal is. And this video is eight minutes long, just of girls subtly looking at this guy's crotch. And it's gone viral. Is that all it takes now to have a viral video on YouTube? I mean, I could go buy a foot long Subway sandwich and put that in my pants and for $5, I'll have a viral video and lunch. This video was just uploaded on the internet, but the quality is terrible. It's not widescreen, it's not even HD. I mean, what kind of camera was this guy using? They were probably staring at him because they were wondering why he has a cell phone from 1997. I take incognito pictures of people on transit all the time because there's always something crazy to see between people's hair and their makeup and their fashion. I mean, if I saw a huge bulging crotch, of course I'd take a picture of that and share it on Twitter because I'd get all kinds of retweets and favorites. In fact, I might go on transit right now with a fake bulge and share it on Twitter just to see what kind of reaction I get. You know what I think would have been even better if a woman did this experiment and had something in her pants? And really, you do find that sort of thing on public transit. That's part of the joy of riding the train or the bus. You never know what you're gonna get. Hey, I'm single. If you think these girls are proving to be perverts just because they're glancing over at this guy's crotch, you should see what happens when I ride on the SkyTrain with my friend Samantha Mack. Guys win the pervert game. They don't just subtly glance, they ogle and stare at her. Even gay guys, sometimes they'll ask if they can touch her boobs or motorboat them. And often she'll oblige because she's just a nice Canadian girl. So in conclusion, women are sexual beings just like men and sometimes they're a little horny and perverted. And guess what? They also poop and they also fart. So get over it. Take it from me, an expert on women and their lady parts. Thanks for watching my Odd News Review. I do this twice a week, so subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And if you missed Sunday's video where I did the sibling challenge with my brother Spandy Andy, make sure you click on the annotation or the link in the description below so you can check that out too. Thanks for watching. Toodles. What's happening, Josh? Just getting my prosthetic out. Ta-da! It wasn't real.